Welcome to a new documentary, if it is the first time, I introduce myself, I am the engineer Hitakal Morrison and I appreciate you decide to see this educational content. In this installment we will see the new images of the James Webb Space Telescope, which the United States Space Agency describes as ghostly and chilling. Along with the latest wonderful sounds of galaxies, nebulae and black holes in the universe. Join me, thanks to applied technology, in this new educational adventure. From the perspective, of an engineer. Let's start. Like a ghostly portrait where the James Space Telescope reveals the dust and structure of the pillars of creation, that is how the United States Space Agency, NASA, defined what they have called scary in this publication, which is the most recent and update unveiled by NASA on October 28, 2022 of the most fascinating and popular image of the universe formed by interstellar gas and dust in a region that is approximately 6,500 light years from Earth. These James Webb infrared log images have been dubbed the pillars of creation, so called because the gas and dust that make up the pillared image is in the process of creating new stars, while it is also being eroded by light from nearby stars that have recently formed. This scene was first captured by NASA's Hubble Space Telescope in 1995 and visited again in 2014, but many other observatories, such as NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope, have also taken an in-depth look at the pillars of creation. With each observation, astronomers gain new information and, through their ongoing research, gain a deeper understanding of this star-forming region. Every wavelength of light and every advanced instrument provides far more accurate counts of the gas, dust, and stars that inform researchers' models of how stars form. As a result of the new MIRI image, astronomers now have data in mid-infrared light with higher resolution than ever before, and will analyze their much more precise measurements of the dust to create a more complete three-dimensional landscape of this distant region. Let's see next why NASA calls these new images from the James Webb Space Telescope spooky and listen to the latest sounds of the universe. But first, I ask you to support us by liking this video, sharing this video with your contacts, and subscribing to this channel, turning on notifications, so with your support, we can continue to frequently generate interesting documentaries on aerospace technology. And the universe, thank you for contributing to the creation of educational content. Sometimes I think that the strongest proof that there is intelligent life in the universe is that no one has tried to contact us. Bill Watterson, American cartoonist author of Scientific Humor NASA explains in this statement that the mid-infrared view of the pillars of creation captured by NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has a chilling tone. The thousands of stars that exist in this region seem to fade, as stars do not normally emit much mid-infrared light, and seemingly endless layers of gas and dust come into focus. The detection of dust by the Webb Mid-Infrared Instrument MIRI, is extremely important. Dust is one of the main ingredients for star formation. Download the full, uncompressed version and supporting images from the Space Telescope Science Institute SCHI. Mid-infrared light creates such a gloomy and eerie atmosphere in the image taken by Webb's Mid-Infrared Instrument MIRI, because a layer of interstellar dust blankets the scene. And while mid-infrared light specializes in pinpointing where dust is, stars aren't bright enough to show up at these wavelengths. Instead, these towering pillars of leaden gas and dust glow at their edges, hinting at the activity going on within. All this combined generates these images that, in accordance with the human visual interpretation of giving form and interpretation to what you see, can give the impression of gloomy, ghostly and chilling, as NASA has described and described it. To help understand and feel the universe in other ways, even though space is mostly silent. The data collected by the telescopes can be converted into tables, graphs and images. Something that has been harnessed by a sonification project led by NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory and NASA's Universe of Learning program, where data from the world's most powerful telescopes is transformed into sounds. This fabulous work allows us to interpret data from cosmic sources with a different sense, hearing, Let's listen next to these which are the most recent sounds of the universe. This is a cluster of young stars, about 1 to 2 million years old, located about 20,000 light years from Earth. In its visual image form, the Hubble data, green and blue, reveal thick clouds where stars are forming, while X-rays seen from Chandra, purple, penetrate through the haze. In the sonified version of this data, 
sounds travel from left to right across the field of view with brighter light producing a louder sound. The Hubble data is reproduced using strings, either stippled for single stars or bowed for diffuse clouds. Chandra's X-ray data is represented by bells, and more diffuse X-ray light is reproduced with more sustained tones. Let's listen. In this sonification starting at the center, we have the sonification of the remnant of a stellar explosion, what is called a supernova expanding outward in a circle. The image contains X-ray data from Chandra, where the various colors represent small frequency bands associated with different elements moving to and from Earth. For example, red shows iron, green is silicon, and blue represents sulfur. Let's listen. Whereas this sonification is of the giant black hole that has been named Messier 87, M87 for short, and its surroundings have been studied for many years and by a variety of telescopes including Chandra, Blue, and Very Large Array, Red and Orange. These data show that the black hole in M87 is sending out massive jets of energetic particles that are interacting with vast clouds of hot gas that surround it. To translate X-rays and radio waves into sound, the image is scanned starting at the 3 o'clock position and moving clockwise like radar. Light further from the center is heard at a higher pitch, while brighter light is stronger. Radio data has a lower pitch than X-rays, corresponding to their frequency ranges in the electromagnetic spectrum. Point sources in the X-ray light, most of which represent stars in orbit around a black hole or neutron star, are played as short, pulsed sounds. Let's listen. What do you think of these new visual and sound experiences that help us to know and experience the immense universe of which we are part? I hope to see your opinions in the comments of this video, remember that I always read them. As usual, we appreciate you informing us, 
it is a real pleasure to be able to provide you with the main news, trends and developments, about the most important aspects of aerospace technology and the universe, from the perspective of an engineer. I am the engineer Hitakel Morrison and I invite you to meet again in a future installment.